Before the new law came into force, only about four out of every ten motorists regularly used a seat belt. But during this morning's rush hour in London, the vast majority of drivers and front seat passengers were securely fastened. It seems the fear of prosecution was a greater incentive to belt up than all those previous seatbelt campaigns with their appeals to reason. And the government will now be hoping for a big reduction in the number of people killed or seriously injured in traffic accidents. Good morning, I see you're wearing your seatbelt today. That's correct, yes. Is this simply because of the law? Indeed, I've never worn it before. Um, I prefer to be free when I'm driving, but um, I'm aware that the law aren't going to enforce things today, so that's why I'm wearing it. But not everyone remembered the need to clunk click this morning. Hello, can I ask you why you're not wearing a seatbelt? Right. <laughs> you realise you're breaking the law? Yeah, I do realise now, yeah. Thanks for telling me. I better put it on. Yeah, I think you had. <laughs> so what are the chances of being fined if you don't wear a seatbelt? Well, at the moment, it depends very much on where you live. Some police forces have said that they intend to adopt a lenient attitude for the first few weeks at least. People who break the law are likely to escape with just a warning. But in other areas, the police are saying that they intend to prosecute people as from today. And if you don't wear a seatbelt, that could mean a fine of up to £50. Well, the Merseyside Chief Constable, Kenneth Oxford, has already said that in his area, drivers, to begin with, uh, not wearing seatbelts, will be warned and not prosecuted. So John Thorne has been examining how the softly, softly approach there has been working. At the dawn of this new legislation, rush hour motorists on Merseyside were greeted by foul, snow-filled winds. There was no sign of extra police vigilance on the roads leading to the Mersey Tunnel, and many drivers had forgotten to lock on their seat belts. In fact, one driver was deliberately ignoring the new legislation. Well, figures have proved in the continent that uh, even though the number of people wearing seat belts went up, there's no decrease in the amount of accidents. So even though you're liable to £50 fine, yeah. you're not going to wear them? No. The Merseyside police have been coy about their attitude. The chief constable, Mr Kenneth Oxford, declined an interview. So did his traffic department commander. But in fact, motorists here have a good reputation for belting up. A local survey suggested that nearly half Merseyside drivers did it automatically even before the new law. The police force here on Merseyside are not alone in deciding initially to advise motorists about the new seatbelt legislation rather than prosecuting them immediately. But their chief constable's stance has been attacked by the British Safety Council, who describe it as entirely irresponsible, amounting to a licence for suicide.